pools are a lot of fun, but they're also one of the biggest users of water and power. And if your pool has a leak, it can cost you even more. So make sure to check for leaks periodically. Let me show you how. Pool leaks may or may not be visible. Visible leaks are easy to spot. Look for white, crusty mineral deposits on pipes or on the ground. Another sign is wet spots on the ground, around the pool equipment, and from the equipment to the pool. Next, it's time to check for non-visible leaks. To get started, grab a clear container and a marker. During the test period, turn off the pool autofill, do not manually add water to the pool, and avoid splashing water out of the pool. Now you're ready to mark the water level. Put the container on the pool steps without submerging it. Using a marker, mark the level of the pool on the outside of the container. Next, fill the container with pool water up to the mark you just made, so the levels match. Mark the water level inside the container. Now wait and give evaporation time to work, usually two to three days. If it rains or if it's windy, you'll have to perform the test again. It's time to see if your pool passed the test. If the water level in the pool is lower than in the container, you have a leak. If both levels are the same amount, you do not have a leak. It's that easy to check your pool for leaks, and knowing you're not wasting water, energy, or money makes having a pool 